Hello everyone, this particular video is going to focus on cyanohydrin formation. This is a reaction of carbonyl compounds where the carbonyl compound reacts with hydrogen cyanide, HCN. Okay, uh, and uh, the scheme itself is captured here. So a carbonyl compound reacts with HCN to give us a cyanohydrin. So carbonyl compound. gives us the cyanohydrin. Now the cyanohydrin is characterized or it can be easily identified by the presence of a nitrile group and a hydroxyl group on the same carbon atom. So if you look at it, the carbonyl carbon, which had the double bond to the oxygen now has the hydroxyl group and this nitrile group on it. Now this reaction, is catalyzed by base. Okay, so if you have a little bit of base, that would help this reaction. And the mechanism itself is very simple. So the mechanism of the reaction involves an initial attack of cyanide. initial attack of cyanide on the carbonyl carbon. So when the cyanide attacks the carbonyl carbon, the double bond opens up and that would give us an intermediate here where the nitrile group is now connected and we have an alkoxide. The carbonyl oxygen becomes an alkoxide and in a subsequent step, the oxygen here can deprotonate HCN to give us the cyanohydrin product. It would give us the cyanohydrin. So it's a two-step mechanism. The initial attack of the cyanide on the carbonyl carbon, and this cyanide would be generated by the catalytic base. So when the base reacts with HCN, that's going to generate some cyanide for you, a little bit of cyanide and then you get it. And then notice how this attack here is going to regenerate cyanide for you. So that's why you only need a catalytic amount of base because in the second step, cyanide is regenerated, which can go and start this reaction again. Now, if you want to avoid, to avoid the use of a base here, you can also do the reaction with just some cyanide salt. Okay, so it does not have to be a base. The reaction can be done using can be done using a cyanide salt. So think potassium cyanide or sodium cyanide, any of those, because these contain cyanide nucleophile in there. So if you take the carbonyl compound, and react it with, let's say, sodium cyanide in HCN along with hydrogen cyanide, this will give you the cyanohydrin, the hydroxyl group and the nitrile group. And the mechanism again is going to be very, is going to be identical here because the cyanide from here can go and attack the carbonyl, open it up, and then the oxygen would get protonated by the HCN to give us the cyanohydride. So let's say we have cyclohexanone. If you react cyclohexanone with sodium cyanide, in HCN as a solvent, that's going to give us the cyanohydrin. That's our product. Now the nitrile group is a versatile group that it has some advantages. It can be converted into other functional groups. So in principle, and we, uh, we haven't talked about these reactions yet, like the mechanisms or anything, but in principle, uh, this nitrile group can be converted 
into a carboxylic acid. So if you do a hydrolysis, you can do an acidic hydrolysis. And this reaction can also be catalyzed by a base, but acidic hydrolysis, then the nitrile group is hydrolyzed to give you a carboxylic acid. So that way now you can install a carboxylic acid functional group and a hydroxyl group on the same carbon, starting from the carbonyl compound. Or if you do a reduction of the nitrile, so if you did lithium aluminum hydride, follow it up with an acidic workup, you can convert the nitrile group into an amine, okay? So we have the CN, the carbon here becomes the CH2, N becomes the NH2. So you can have now a primary amine and a hydroxyl group in the same molecule. Similarly, nitriles can be reacted with Grignard reagents. So if you react this with, uh, say, RMGX, follow it up with a workup that would give you a hydroxyl group there. And this nitrile group under these conditions would be converted into a ketone group. So you notice how you have a lot more leverage here in terms of like the reactions that can be done. Once you have the cyanohydrate, you've got the hydroxyl group and you can convert the nitrile into other groups. Now, there are other reactions that nitriles would do. I've just captured like a few. So that is the cyanohydrin formation where a carbonyl compound is converted into a cyanohydrin by reaction with HCN. Now, as you can see, this reaction is also reversible, but for most carbonyl compounds, the cyanohydrin product is favored under these conditions. So I hope uh, you find this information and, and the, uh, the reaction useful and you're able to like apply this to other systems. Bye, thank you.